The EIDL loan portal reopened on Monday, and some viewers are already getting the grant money for that new application. Wow. This is a bombshell shocker that no one saw coming. Thanks for tuning in. This is LA Late. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may answer them tomorrow's according. And please hit the bell on the front of this channel when a host shows up with two winged angels on their shoulders. And surely we'll be getting to all 130 of your EIDL loan questions, but and later we'll begin to the real shocking news about how quickly SBA is processing grant money on the new loan process. But understood, we are also gonna go over details about how our March and April EIDL loan applicants are finally get their loan approved. I want, you wanna watch this because we're covering only not only the older loan, but also the new loan. Uh, but first, let's get to some of your questions. Eileen, I wonder if people will get the $1,000, $10,000 grant, because if people get $10,000 and us in March only got 1,000, that would be very unfair. No, the new EIDL loan portal, uh, the, the May and June version, which I'm just gonna call the June one, the new one, is still $1,000 per employee. Uh, Belinda, my daughter applied when they were only accepting agriculture applications. She was told, uh, today she received an e email that her loan is being processed. So yes, let me drop this bombshell. I did this, uh, in a quick rush this morning. You saw me with bad lighting and even worse hair. Uh, what happened is the following. Those of you who are very finite that applied for the EIDL grant or loan in the month of May, or even you know, as of last Sunday, uh, and got a denial that, and said, hey, we are only open for agriculture applications at that time. We didn't know what was gonna happen to you. So what happened was SBA immediately reverted you folks into the current process. So if you apply for an EIDL grant or loan in May or June before the portal opened for non-agricultural businesses and got a denial, they are now sending out emails to saying, hi, we're now processing you for the normal portal. So you do not need to reapply. Uh, Samantha, my offer finally came in today. Not enough, so I'm requesting an increase in preparing a reconsideration document. I'll go over that reconsider uh, how to do a increase shortly. Kriston TV, I received an email telling me to verify me information for the grant. Hope that means I'm coming. Yes. So if you have, if you are a March or April EIDL applicant and got a denial of the loan, did a reconsideration, so you will be getting an email to confirm your information to get the grant money and it does pay you. Um, Paul Ryan just filled out a new application for my other businesses that did not apply during the first process. So this is great. Paul Ryan is one of my March and April EIDL applicants, but he is now also one of my June. He has other businesses. So those other businesses are applying for the new EIDL application. I love my viewers because they understand what works, what is correct and what is not correct. And some of you, this is absolutely correct. So if you're new to this channel and you are a June applicant or you're an OG, stay with me because this may apply to you as well. Political Lil. The loan terms are better than you will get with the norm. Michael Taylor, hilarious. All this. I finally emailed all my senators in Arkansas, uh, but I did receive an email from the SBA. Uh, consent form. So tired of guessing. Filed on 3.30 the, the 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 vortex on convention. Bruce Dubois, when SBA customer service contacted me, asked me to go over some information. So I submitted my business information and my loan was still being processed. I did not have to be approved for the loan to receive the grant. Uh, that is correct. So if you're new to this channel, there's two ways you're getting the grant money from a March and April EIDL loan application. One, you if you're denied for the loan, you will get the grant money if you, if you request it in a reconsideration letter for a, contesting the denial of the EIDL loan. Two, if you're approved for the EIDL loan, you need to call SBA and say, where's my grant money, how am I receiving it, when am I receiving it, and you will get your grant money. Uh, Ning Dung, EIDL loan come to account today. Congratulations, Ning. AZ Medadam, just fingers crossed this time. Good. Paul Ryan, again, I just received my request for documents for my reconsideration, finally moving out of 334 Vortex. So this is great news. As you know, because uh, I've been detailing it, if you got denied for an EIDL loan application for the month of March or April, you need to do a reconsideration. The reconsideration is sent to the email address that the denial letter states on it. In it, you need to explain 
your, the reason for the reconsideration. I've already done a video on that. Uh, in that, once you send it to them, they will respond to you saying, thank you, I got it. Then thereafter, they start to request documents from you. When they request documents from you, that means you're moving. That means there's a movement on it. And it's great news. Um, so, And you also need to contact your senators. So that's great news for him. Snowbird, they're like bumping. I applied and got my grant about eight hours. They must have got a lot more employees today. Yes. So <laughs> this person's spoiling my details. Kadeem Lord got the $1,000 grant for the for the grant. Denied the loan. Should I try to reapply for the new portal? Uh, no, unless you have another business. So Kadeem, if you if you applied as Kadeem last time in March or April and got a $1,000 grant, you can't just apply again for Kadeem in, in the month of June and ask for the same amount of money again. No. That's when another channel will tell you to do. Oh, slap their hands. Uh, Bry, property owner that rents out to tenants and claims the income under personal taxes. Would I qualify? Yes. Um, so there is a part of, we went over the form yesterday, uh, and I'll drop that in the links above. There is a, you can apply as a sole, propri sole proprietor. Um, there's a button on the list. You click solo, you put your individual name, you put your personal social security number, and then below it, there's a place that talks about rental. Are you a property owner of rental income that's lost? So that's what they're going to be talking about. They're also going to ask what your revenue was from property ownership in 2019, what your cost of goods are. So, um, understands cost of services like, you know, leasing and uh, advertisement stuff, stuff like that. Allison. I'm a sporting coach. I don't see anything related to that in the business activity section. Do you have a suggestion what I should do? Yes, I would just choose other. Um, they can't list every business possible. M. Garza, I was offered a loan of 26400 After getting approval uh, to sign the contract, I no longer want the 25000 due to uh, collateralization. So this is great. This is a viewer who understands what this channel has been detailing. You're collateralized if it's $25,000 or $1 or more for an EIDL loan. He does not want to be collateralized. I have not signed the loaning documents. Um, they're making it so difficult. I have not signed the doc, doc, loan documents. So they should not make it difficult. Um, I would I would escalate it. I would speak to tier two. I would speak to your senators. They absolutely need to, re they absolutely have to reduce the loan amount. They've offered you 26,400. You don't want to be collateralized. They have to reduce the loan amount. Absolutely. I would call, I would call tier two and I would also call, call to your senator. Rosie Cow. I called the SBA. They said they didn't have open the EIDL for non-agriculture. They do. Uh, can I apply for one person EIDL grant? Yes, you can. Kim, I wish I had your application walkthrough when I did my application. It would I would answer cost of goods differently. The good news is when I drop down there, I put my loan amount below the twenty five thousand. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love her answer. So as you know, there's a calculation to how they do the EIDL loan. Uh, it is revenue minus cost of goods sold divided by two. And in yesterday's video, I went through and told you how to uh, go through the application. And I also said, when you go through that, that will tell you how to prepare for a loan amount. Well, what's really good about that is if you don't want to be collateralized, you can also prepare to make sure you're not collateralized. Um, King Cap, I see a few people talking about you on Facebook. Good. Bryce Stills, I just received an email from SBA that they're processing my grant, original application in May. So yes, they're now processing um, the May people today. So that's also really, as I just said. Manuel Cake Daddy Pruitt, my wife applied yesterday and she's already received an email from SBA. Yes, they're moving very quickly. Bo Bood, oh my God. My business agriculture, I finally received the link for the advance. Woo, thank, there you go. Tank Dot, I just got his email from SBA when I signed up back in May, it was for agriculture. I didn't have to file, fingers crossed, uh, signing lo loan documents today. Uh, Rosie, do we have to apply for a loan in order to get the grant or we simply apply for the grant? Yes, you can, uh, this is, this is a grant uh, that you, <laughs> You're supposed to be wanting the loan, but you don't have to take the loan. So if you are seeing this new EIDL portal is open and you want that grant money, you can apply. You do not have to take the loan offer. So sometime thereafter, they're going to send you an email that says that you they've approved your loan or denied your loan. You don't have to take it. Uh, Eric, hello, my cheeky friend. I mean, with respect, your hard work and services to the community. Would you be interested in considering Airbnb in your analysis? Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> 
I don't, I, I don't understand the question. Oh, here, oh, he continues. Um, huge audience. We went from $40,000 to $5,000 immediately after the first quarter revenue. Are there any opportunities? I don't know. Did he fall on the wrong channel? <laughs> I, did he get, get he, I, I don't understand what that question is. <laughs> uh, Beauty Bay, thank you for helping the people. I rushed my application as soon as the portal was closed in the same day, try to fix it. Tier two claim they've never have known on my application was a lie, start from the beginning. All right, so if you just, <laughs> uh, boy, a lot of crazy questions today. So let's get right to it. EID alone. Uh, first, let's do our March our, and April applicants. You need to get that loan processed. Uh, if you've not got the loan process, you need to contact your senators. If you're not, if you're new to this channel and just joining this channel, I've been hitting this home run since Thursday. Uh, I have told viewers this channel to reach out to the senators and say, hey, I applied for the March and April EIDL. I'm locked in a vortex. I'm not moving anywhere. Where is my loan? What's going on? They are doing wonders with the exception of Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. Uh, most of the senators are really quite good. Contact both senators in your state. Contact your, your house representative. And they're getting you out of uh, Neverland, out of vortex land, and getting your loans approved. They're getting approved and funded within 24 hours. If you think I'm joking, it is is literally every single person. Second, some of the viewers of this channel have actually emailed Javita Carranza directly about their March and April Vortex problems. They're getting it funded and approved within 24 hours as well. Javita is doing a really great job. Uh, third, some of the viewers of this channel have contacted their senators about their EIDL loan denials, and the senators have turned it around. They've actually turned those denials to approvals. Great wins, great wins. Third, if you got an EIDL denial, you need to send a reconsideration into SBA ASAP and contact your senators. Third, if your loan is in approval status or sitting around or not moving, you need to contact your senators. All right, so let's get to negotiating the loan amount up and down. So if you got a loan amount, um, and you, please understand if you're new to this channel, welcome. But if that loan is over $25,001, you're collateralized. They will take your uh, bank accounts. They will take your prop, your your um, possessions in your business if you default on the loan. If you don't want to be collateralized, which I know you don't, because no one wants to be collateralized, not even our <laughs> our, uh, our our star of tier two, our, our our bit yesterday wants to be collateralized. Uh, you need to contact SBA and reduce the loan amount. They will they will reduce the loan amount. You need to respond to them in the portal on the right side. Send an email back to the email that was sent to you, and also contact SBA. Third, you can re increase the loan amount. You can call SBA to do that. Do it the same way. Do these raising and lowering of the loan amounts before you sign the loan documents. After they sign the loan documents, they won't reduce the loan amount. Um, after you sign the loan document, they can increase the loan amount. The contract says they can do it for two years. Next, um, grant money. We're going to do a grant video coming up later today. And Chavita Late is coming back out of Scarfland. Uh, she will be joining us illustriously again. But um, if you have to go through the loan process, my March and April applicants to get your grant money, you can't sit back and not do anything. So you have to get that denial letter on file. And in the denial letter of the EIDL March and April application, you say, where's my grant money? They will send you that portal invite that comes within about a week and it gets funded within about another week. It absolutely comes. They really cleaned up their act. Uh, finally, if you got approved for a loan you for March or April, you have to request that grant money uh, and it will come to you. Finally, if you're a new viewer of this channel and you have applied for the EIDL loan in June this week or May and are still be, are now being processed, you're getting your grant money right away. I don't know when your loan is going to come. You don't have to accept the loan. If you want the loan, you certainly should take the loan. If you have questions whether you can apply for another business for the EIDL process, that just uh, portal that just reopened, watch tonight's EIDL grant rant video. I will again go over nuances, and I know there's going to be a lot of different permutations, a lot of different nuances about, I had this type of business that applied in March. Can I apply with this type of business now in June? I want you to ask away, because I'm going to be um, doing that video to I'm black and blue in the face. There's a lot of permutations. The Generally, if everything is separate, you can do it. 
Um, but if everything is the same, oh no, you know, you yourself and your, I don't care how many multiple split personalities you have, only one of you can apply. Uh, <laughs> so even if you are a um, impersonator, your impersonations cannot apply as well. Uh, finally, if you have questions about today's video, drop them in the comments below. But let me get to a few more of your questions before I roll over and um, get into scarf dumb for my next recording. <laughs> Jeff Ward. Hey, LA. I love you and love the show. Jeff Ward. I got my link the same day. Reached out to my loan offer. Sent me a privacy form to inquire about my grant information. Thank you for your loyalty. You walk. Great. Uh, John, I originally applied for the agricultural. What do you think will happen? So they're going to give you an email today and say, hey, we're going to process your agricultural application as non-ag uh, this week. Sheep, you're the best, LLI. Thank you. H. Barnes, I have a small business that hasn't run since 2018. Can I use the business? Uh, no, it has to be impacted by COVID-19. That is really not good uh, gamemanship. So if you have a business that's just sort of sitting out there and wasn't impacted by COVID-19, you want to go collect some grant money and loan money. Oh, shame on you. Absolutely not. Uh, ASK Michelle. I applied by accident when they opened the agriculture. Today, I, lo and behold, they, they're processing them. Yes. Uh, Marco. I opened a new business in February. I got three employees. How can I apply for the one because I don't have tax returns? So you had to have... Um, boy, I, I don't have the loan. I don't have the thing in front of me. I think you had to have been in existence by January, but I don't know. I can't remember that by heart. You need to take a look at that. Timothy, uh, I got $1,000 on Friday. I applied in March. Do I get the rest of it? No. Um, Katoya, do I need to fill it out again to be reconsidered, reconsidered for the $10,000 grant? Uh, no. So a <laughs> lot... There's three types of viewers out there. There's my viewers. They're the viewers that still want that remainder of the $10,000 grant, which, I mean, everyone wants. And, and they just want to keep on hitting that question over and over again. When am I going to get the remainder of the $10,000 grant? When am I going to get the remainder of the $10,000 grant? The answer is never, never, and <laughs> never. So um, a lot of you are sending emails for reconsideration for the $10,000 grant. You're not going to get it. Uh, you're, you're trying to do the portal again to get the get more to get the remainder of $10,000 grant. You can. So, I just, you know, uh, Jenny737, I already got the loan for 25000 last month. Can I apply for more funding? No. <laughs> Sorry to shout that, but no, you can't. It's you. you. You cannot go back and ask for something else. Now, Jenny, what you can do is you can ask to increase your loan. Uh, the, the contract allows you to increase your loan within the first two years. Libby, is there interest on the EIDL loan tax deductible? Oh, my God. I'm not doing tax questions until uh, February of next year if I'm still around. Cedric, will there be another credit poll from from the SBF? You know there is. You know, of course there is. Kim, amen to making a copy of my page. Yes. Uh, boy, in the yesterday's EIDL video, I said, please make a copy of every page before you go to the next page on the new application. I want you to confirm what you sent. Uh, Harry Emerson, hello, LA. Great videos. Question: If I accepted the idea loan for one thousand dollars a few weeks ago, but I've not received the grant, um, you need to call SBA. Lynn, um, I think I skipped you. Hi, LA. Thank you for the video. I received my loan a few weeks ago, so I contacted for an increase. They sent me a form for reconsideration. Um, that doesn't make sense. You, they should not be sending you a form to increase your EIDL loan. You just communicate to them. William Mickelson, looks like everyone who have tried to apply with ag are now being processed like non-ag. They are. Um, I'm not going to say it. I, you, you know what I was about to say. Uh, some person told all those non-ag people to apply to get in front of real people that do things the correct way when portals opened the correct way yesterday. Uh, Mike Long, can you go back and look at the application? <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be. Uh, Sherry, in May, I erroneously submitted an application. I just received an email that I'm being processed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Many people would just say that to me. Alma, I applied for EID on May 3rd. I'm now being processed. <laughs> Another person saying it. Um, Kevin Lee, I'm worried now, LA. I'm still worrying my loan portal invite. I had to resend my grant, and now all these applications are coming on. I should not be jumping through. They should not be jumping on the line. Yes, you need to contact your senator, uh, Kevin Lee. I need to know what your situation is. Um, uh, there are some viewers who literally are stuck in a vortex, uh, and you are one of them. You, and th what they have done is they've contacted Jovita Carranza directly. They contacted the senators. They have really escalated it beyond just calling SBA Tier 2, and they, it has worked. 
Uh, so I implore you to escalate. Don't sit back. Um, Ed Torres, can you provide an explanation of how they derive a loan amount? Um, yes, uh, it is 2019 uh, rev minus cost of goods sold divided by two. For example, if you generated 385,000 minus cost of goods of 312, that would equal 73,000. They would divide 73 into two. The loan amount would be 37,000. Is that what you mean? Yes. <laughs> he did that really fast. Uh, LLA, Catherine. She has no ability to deal with sudden disaster. I don't know what that means. A servant of the most God. First, well, hello, servant of the first God. Most God. Most high. Uh, Wayne, does the SBA contract to use Dun & Batch Street to verify business information and run business credit? No, they use Experian uh, Vantage 3.0 to run credit. Oh, boy. I forgot to tell you this. There's always something late in this video. Another bombshell. You have to lock your, unlock your credit score. Uh, two things. I'm going to have to drop this in the grant video tonight. Two things. And I'm dropping this in the very This is why I have to watch my videos at the very end. There's, there are two things I heard in the last four hours about the new uh, EIDL application. And this is for May or June. One, if you applied as a solo uh, for May or June, they are now asking for your Schedule C. <laughs> So they're not playing games. They don't think you're self-authenticating anymore. They want to see your Schedule C to confirm that your side hustle, as one person's referring to, is really a side hustle that you're paying taxes on. Uh, none of that crap. Uh, <laughs> third, second, uh, they're saying that they need, they're emailing people saying, unlock your credit score. We need to do a credit poll. So... Whereas that was not an issue back in March and April, it is an issue now. You need to unlock your credit score for Experian to do it because they will email and say, hi, your credit score is locked. We can't process you. If you have questions about today's video, which I'm sure you do, and I got to all of the rest of them, uh, drop them in the comments below. Coming up today are four videos. This one, two videos on Second Stimulus. Please watch our Second Stimulus Chuck videos. There's one on the Main Street Lenny program and one on EIDL. Jovita Late rejoins us. And later tonight, EIDL Grant, which you have to watch, it is very, very important. Make it a blockbuster and we'll be good with you and you'll be good with us. As always, stay at Valley for more. <music>